hey forkers, I'm going to pretty much just eat potatoes and vegetables for about a week and a half. Find out why when you come back. But hit subscribe first. Do that. Hey Forkers! So for those that you know, I lost a ton of weight and now I'm in what you would call maintenance. Uh, and I did mine mostly through like calorie counting and exercise. I have videos on that on the website you can check out. I'll post the link below. But the one thing that I've been curious about over the years has always been about kind of like where my weight should land. And I did a recent video about how much should you weigh and you can check it out. I'll post that below as well. But there's something that I wanted to try that I've read a lot about and I've seen other people do, and it's called um, it's called a couple of different things. It was called by like um, Penn Juliet. It was the potato diet. It's also famously known as this thing called Mary's Mini, and it was designed by this woman named Mary McDougall, who is the the wife of John McDougall, who wrote a book called The Starch Solution. And he talks about how the myth of carbs being terrible is is simply not true. It's a good read. Check it out. Lots of people have tried this. Penn Juliet wrote his book Presto all about it. He lost 100 pounds uh, and he started with this process. Our friends over at Crocs in the Kitchen did this. You can watch their potato videos as well and uh, they've done the Mary's Mini a few times. So there's lots of people that have tried this. So what is a Mary's Mini? Basically, you pick a starch and you make that your primary food for 10 days. What are the starches that you can use? Potatoes sweet potatoes, pretty much any root vegetables, except for carrots, beets, turnips, corn, winter squash, or whole grains like oatmeal or rice. Probably a whole grain pasta would do too. That would be interesting. Just spaghetti for 10 days. My 10 year old self would have goddamn loved spaghetti for 10 days. But here's the trick to it. You're only allowed one starch for the 10 days. So if you pick potatoes, that's the only starch you can. You can't go back and forth between potatoes and sweet potatoes or rice or pasta or oatmeal. It's one starch to rule them all. Thanks, Gandalf. Now there's no limit on the amount you can eat. Eat as much as you want. Eat until you're full and then stop. Try not to overstuff yourself. And that's part of what I want to do too, is really get good at listening to my body for when I'm, I'm getting to the point of being full. Uh, and that's the kind of thing I think all of us could learn how to do probably a little bit better. Eat till you're full, not stuffed. If you get hungry between meals, it's totally okay on this thing. But you gotta eat the starch. So if you're hungry, if you want a snack, you gotta eat a potato or bowl of rice or whatever it is your starch is. Now I know what you're saying. Holy shit, I can only eat that one thing the whole time? Yeah, if you want to be a purist and do it that way, you probably could, especially if you're using a potato or a sweet potato because there's enough nutrients in there, you can get away with just that. That said, for the Mary's Mini, they allow condiments and they allow some vegetables in there too. Here's some ideas of condiments you can add to your meals. Vegetable broth, salsa, mustard, ketchup, sriracha or hot sauce, nutritional yeast, soy sauce, a tomato sauce without any sugar in it. Here are the foods you can't have when you're on this thing. No fruit. That's gonna be the hardest for me because I start my day pretty much with a bowl of fruit salad and some grains on it. So no fruit for me for 10 days is gonna be probably the hardest part. No processed sugar or substitutes. No processed grains like crackers or bread. No gravies or sauces with flowers. No beans or lentils. No nuts or seeds or nuts or seed butters. No avocado, no coconut, no chocolate, no tofu, no alcohol. Obviously no animal products if you're still eating that kind of stuff. No oil of any kind. So those are the overall rules. You pick one starch, you stick to it for the 10 days and you eat as much of it as you want and you can include those sauces and those other foods that are on the okay list and you avoid the ones that aren't. So why the hell am I doing this? Well, I kind of want to do a bit of a spring cleaning for my body. It's not like I need to lose any weight. Although I will say that I think I've kind of like bumped up a little bit because we've been eating extra, extra gorgeous, lovely plant-based treats over this isolation. And I'm curious if my body should be stable where I am at right now, or if it gets stable, if I go down a couple pounds and I can maintain a stability there. And if I don't, if I drift back up, 
I'm 100% okay with that. That's just the way my body's supposed to be. And I accept it. I'm still within a healthy range. I also wanted to try to like reset my portions and just see if, if I'm eating too much food as well. Because I enjoy and love the food that I eat. So I probably eat more of it than I need to sometimes. So I want to use something like this to really get used to listening to my body for when it's full. And not just keep on adding stuff into my mouth because it tastes good. I also just think a general reset of my palate will be good to eat bland food. That's kind of the point of this. It's supposed to be bland and boring and repetitious. Uh, you're allowed all those extra sauces and other vegetables, but you shouldn't be trying to make super gourmet meals on this. It should be the idea that the food is kind of boring and bland and you just eat enough to get yourself full and that's about it. So you can go crazy with a lot of recipes, but that's not really the point. If you just want to eat the same simple stuff every day for the 10 days, that's totally fine. So this is gonna be the first part and I probably think a four part series. I'll probably check in after day five, again after day 10. And then I'm gonna check in again probably two weeks to a month later just to let you know if my weight went back up or if I stabilized down there. That's what I'm most curious about. I'm also gonna be uh, posting stuff on Instagram and on Facebook and on the website about this as I'm doing it. Uh, I'll probably do some Instagram lives to talk about the experience. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm also terrified. I think it's going to be kind of fun, but I bet you after day one or two, I'm just going to be like, potatoes suck so bad. I'm going to do white potatoes. I was originally going to do sweet potatoes, but I decided not to because I love sweet potatoes and I don't want to hate them. And I think regular white potatoes are bland enough that it won't bother me one way or the other to have them where I feel like a sweet potato has a much more distinct flavor that if I get sick of that, I won't want it for a long time. And I do not want to not want sweet potatoes. So I picked white potatoes, which I think is like the standard thing most people do. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll try this again and I'll do it with rice or oatmeal or something like that. If you've done a Mary's Mini and you have any tips, please send them over to me. Throw them into the comments below or just reach out to me on social media. I'm curious to talk to anybody who's been through this experience. Uh, it's educational for me. I'm looking forward to it. I'm terrified of it, but we're going to have fun. So keep checking back in. I'll be posting a lot about this over the next couple weeks. And, uh, and thanks, Forkers. We'll check in with you real soon. Bye.